I love what Rick always focuses on, which is educating. It's our job to educate. It is your prospective client's job to choose. And so now what we're going to be teaching you is how to do that. And our slogan here in our office as well is keep it simple, sweetheart. It's all about being simple because um, you don't have to overwhelm people. We have the tools, the resources, if you'd like to give them more information, but we want to keep it simple. And Ty is really great at that. So you're going to learn a lot from him. And what we want you to understand in this presentation too is that you kind of have to take off your dealer hat and put on your customer hat because we're going to be doing this in such a way that you would be turning around to do it for your prospective client. So I want you to take it from that perspective versus, you know, we're not trying to sell you on the ionizers. You obviously are educated and you're here to learn more about it. So please take it from that perspective and Ty will probably have you role play and interact with him a little bit too. So I'm going to turn it over to you, right. Ty. Thank you very much. Right. In front of me here, we oh. got uh, some common 7-Eleven bought water, soda, uh, Propel, which is uh, usually shows people running and doing marathons when they have the commercials on it. Dasani is they basically the runoff from uh, Coke's bottling. If you didn't know, they use a lot of water and then they go ahead and filter it back through and then they sell it to you. So that's that's that right there. Um, this is Smart Bar by Glacial. It says it has electrolytes in it, and this is always famous Fiji water. Where really in Fiji, half the water is unsafe to drink. So I don't know why they would bottle it and uh, charge two dollars a shot. These are really simple pH tests you can do with people. Um, just kind of showing them what, the, uh, what they're drinking. And a lot of times they'll be really shocked, especially with some of these sports drinks, because they have, say, electrolytes. You know, they show athletes playing football, basketball, everything else. They think it's real good for you. It's going to be far-reaching, hydrating you. Let's see here. Right there. Got some good old Carlsbad tap water right here. And in San Diego, we're actually pretty fortunate with the water that does come out of our taps. It's not horribly bad. We did uh, introduce fluoride into, I think, about 80% of the county. Um, I believe that was done about six months ago. And we'll get into that in a second here. Anybody have a guess? pH of the Sprite? Four, five, three, okay. Jason's obviously seen this test done before. See, this is showing under orange, so that's probably, when it's red like that, you're looking at around probably a three or under. So this, uh, they, they do use acidic water in hospital clean rooms to make sure that you don't get staph infections. Uh, you know, whatever else, and they actually clean with the same pH water. That's all they clean with. It's just three over, actually about 2.5 they clean hospitals with. So that's what the good old Sprite is. And then you got the Propel right here. It says do two drops for three ounces. I usually do a little bit more. It works a little bit better. Propel, same as the Sprite, which is no good. Three or under. So that's what... Uh, after you run a marathon, you don't want to put this in your body pretty much. It's not going to be too good. Got the, I believe this is the Dalsani right here. Yes, the third one is. Dalsani, good. Once again, three or under. It says it has electrolytes in it. I don't see it. Let's see what the tap water is. Be surprised. Tap water is actually usually better than, uh, than this bottled water. And the reason is that is because when you have uh, bottled water, most of it's, they do it the cheapest way they can. They pretty much get, you know, whether, whether it's runoff water, whether it's tap water, run it through a reverse osmosis, which strips it down to a molecular level of nothing. Doesn't have any minerals, doesn't have any calcium. Um, basically turns it uh, pretty much acidic. That's why the tap water will actually be a lot, you know, as far as a lot more alkaline because it has the minerals. It's not stripped and devoid of all that. So we got the glacial water right here.
ratio didn't do too bad. It's still a uh, 4.5, so yeah. <laughs> it's only yeah, too yeah. acidic then. Yeah, exactly. Well, we got the PGR. I think we've all bought in cases of this over a lifetime and probably could have an ionizer with how much you paid for it. <laughs> this is going Thank to be, and they list it at 7.5 on the side of the ball just to let you know. So green, which is uh, about six, about seven actually. It's actually neutral, which is good. And here is level three ionized water, which should be in the tins, which is the dark purple. As you can see from the color slide here, we're 10 plus on that. So, so that just put that in there. there you go. And the one thing you can, a nice thing to show people when you're demonstrating the water is then when, for this much Sprite, how much alkaline water would it take to go ahead and, uh, you know, reverse that 3 pH because you got, just as Rich, Rick mentioned before, when you go from 3 to 4, it's 10 times the amount. 4 to 5, it's 100 times the amount. 5 to 6, 1,000 times the amount. So let's see how much it takes. So that's how acidic it is. You can have this much Sprite, put that much water in, that's 10 plus pH, and it's still acidic. So um, you can have a Sprite and have a two pounds of spinach afterwards, and it's not going to help you out any. Let's do this. A little bit of the Propel. Doesn't even change colors. Doesn't even get up to yellow. So that's still in the threes. This one right here is actually slightly orange. So it went from, say, a 2.53 to probably a 3.5 here. So that, that did change slightly. I got the Propel. <clears throat> Change that up pretty good. The Propel was actually, no, that was it. I'm sorry, that was Dasani. Propel went from a, uh, let's see, a, about a 4.5 to purple, actually light purple, which is 10 plus now. So that was actually one on one. Let's see, the tap water. That's the neat thing. When something's starting off at even a five, it's when you put 10 pH water into it, it'll it'll go it'll go up there pretty quick. Here we got the Fiji. <clears throat> nice 10 plus pH water. So there you go. You can kind of see on how things start out, and uh, you know the far-reaching effects on how little or, or uh, as much as it's going to take to uh, you know, offset that. So this, when you show people what they're drinking, if you you're pull the, you know, the water out of their fridge, the water out of their little dispenser that they're paying you know, $50 a month to call into, and you show them the differences, not only the pH, and that's just the one thing we're touching on here, also the microclustering, which is the antioxidant effect of the water, simply breaking the, the water down, breaking off microns. You don't have to really get too complicated, too into it, talk over people's heads because they're, I mean, if you try to introduce all this information for, to somebody in an hour, half an hour, it's not really going to be the most effective for you. Just keep it simple. When you show simple tests like this, it's going to let them know as far as, you know, the acidity and how easily it's turned. And then in turn, you have the, the benefits of the microclustering of the water, which is the antioxidant count, which, you know, a 16 ounce glass of uh, water has more green, as far as antioxidants than say a pound of green. So, you know, as far as the trade-off there, it's not easy to see. It's not hard to see how little of the water, even if you're drinking your recommended uh, daily intake, which is a half, half ounce for every pound you are. I usually drink more than that. Um, and how, what the difference is, you'll feel, even if you're, you know, somebody's drinking the water for a week to two weeks. I've had people that have had, you know, skin irritation. You know, there's tons of different things that once your body does become pH balanced, that just go ahead and fix themselves.